this is what it feels like to be Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, no. oh, yeah, just we can see him. Oh, can see him. Oh, hello there. Fancy seeing you guys here. Welcome to another video. If you aren't already, please do hit that subscribe button. Even put notifications on so you know when I posted a new video. But welcome right now to the Tag Heuer boat. Why are we in Monaco? As you can maybe tell by the background, we are in Monaco, Monte Carlo, for the most special weekend of the year here in Monaco Formula One. And we have been very kindly invited by Tag Heuer to come and stay on this boat throughout the weekend. They are the official watch partner of the Monaco Formula One race. So they have a massive presence here and we are very, very fortunate to be able to have been welcomed to this boat. If you follow me, you'll see that they're not messing around right here. We've got a little football pitch, American football pitch down there because Tom Brady is on this boat and the absolutely gorgeous Bella Hadid. So hopefully, who knows, we may be able to talk to her later. But this is so special. This is a car channel and we're gonna give you a full tour of the Formula One but I also thought we'd show you the boat. Why don't we show you a few of my favorite features from the boat? First one would probably have to be the top deck sun lounges with this view right here behind of all the other boats. It's a pretty, pretty special place to be. And then you can even go get a drink from the bar, of which there are many. This is only number one. And a second, in case you don't want to be up on the top deck because you're scared of heights, is this bar right here on the first deck. There's also plenty of space if ever we decide to have guests. I don't even know the amount of people that we would need to fit in this place. Yeah, I mean, tables are here if you want them. And wherever you go, our tag warrior watches this place. So you can always try and find inspiration for what you want as your next wrist jewelry, speaking of which, I've got the Tag Heuer Monaco on, which is very appropriate for this Monaco race. Beautiful watch for a beautiful event. Onboard entertainment, if you fancy playing some table football, but if you're a clean freak and you're worried about germs, don't worry, wherever you go, there's even a little bit of hand sanitizer. You know you're doing well when you have a terrace hole. I don't know what you call these. I call them terrace holes through the middle of your boat. Oh, and an elevator. Yeah. Balling. A racing simulator for when you want some entertainment. A watch display here where you can see all of the new watches, including the one I'm wearing right now. And when you're done looking at those, they flip around and you have even more. Last but not least, if you feel like a little bit of a dip, you do have a pool under that football pitch there, but also a jacuzzi. I'm going to try and do something a little bit different for you guys during this Grand Prix. Show you the boat, show you the whole experience that I'm getting. Grand Prix you can see on TV and I can't report those due to laws with filming the cars too much. But one thing I've always wondered when I see these events around the world is what's it actually like? What's the atmosphere like? What's it like being behind the scenes at one of these? I nearly just made this table fall. First thing that you have to do when you come to one of these races is go to a place called the Fan Zone. It's at every race and there are loads of activities for you to do there. So let's head on over. Oh, also, before we go there, we're filming this video over the Friday when there's practices, Saturday and Sunday. So if you see me changing clothes, that's why. You were slave to a page in my rhyme book. So I got the red behind me and they're actually going to let me now do a pit stop track. So I'm going to try and switch one of the tires out and see what I can do. is you end up in some pretty random but fantastic places. For example, right now we're in the Prince's private car collection in Fontvieille, an area of Monaco. And as you can see behind there are a bunch of cool cars. There's an F50 behind me right now and an Aventador SV. But then if you come with me this way, there are so many more cool cars. He has an astounding collection. We've got a Countach, a Mura, Ferrari 275, GTB, Daytona, everything. There are rally cars, there are Formula One cars. It's so, so cool. But one of my personal favorites here, it's where everyone's standing, so you might have a bit of music, but let's let's go to that. This, the Veyron Grand Sport, and this spec is awesome. It's a Monaco, it's quite the puller, isn't it? 300 SL Goldwing, pink. Make your own mind up, I guess. I've just been told that I can get into Hamilton's 2007 Formula One car, so I'm not gonna wait to be asked twice. Are we sure? No. 
this off and just for the hands device and the steering wheel to get it properly. I feel like I could maybe do it, but if I were to try to do it, I wouldn't be coming out for a while. This is what it feels like to be Lewis Hamilton then, huh? Steering with your knees. <laughs> I fit much better in this one. This is Grosjean's Lotus F1 car. And I'm actually all the way in. There's no steering wheel, so I can fit my knees in. And man, it feels, you feel so, you feel so fun. It's like one of those really nice shaped, comfortable bath tubs with enormous massage things in the back. You know those, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's exactly what I feel like right now. Formula One cars, great. So one of the things, the atmosphere, the lifestyle of coming to a race as prestigious as the Monaco Grand Prix. Right now we're about to watch the qualifying from a lounge. We're incredibly fortunate that Tag Heuer have sorted us out with this amazing viewing point. We can see all of the pits right in front of us here. So during the race we're going to be able to see everyone coming into pit live in front of us. Very important if you're watching a race, have a big screen somewhere where you can actually see the action because we're also just watching cars go by. If you can keep track of the race with a big screen like that, brilliant. Then we got this bit of the track on the port after the pool, which is also fantastic. But there's also a lot of waiting around. I tried to get everywhere a little bit early so that we can stand here and find our spot so that we're in the front and we can be in the front of the action. Loads of like lunches, dinners and everything that go on, but it's always good fun. And I'm just so happy to be here and I want the action to start now. So another part of this is press conferences. So there'll be a few people, Bell Hedy, Tom Brady, are gonna come here right now behind me on the football pitch who's covering the pool on the boat to do a press conference. This ain't rapping, this is street hop. Now get up off your ass like your seat's hot. My live niggas lit up the reefer. Truck of the car, we got the street sweeper. Don't start none, won't be none. No reason for your mans to panic. You don't wanna see no ambulances. Knock a pimp straight down in this pimp cup. That's the way you get Timberland up. You a slave to a page in my rhyme book. Base. Fantastic. And yeah, now it's time to get some rest, edit this video, try and get it out for you guys as soon as possible. If you aren't already, please remember to subscribe and I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Thanks guys. Bye -bye. Hey. Let's go. Bet.